What's up mga kamamsi, mga kapaps? And I am back after a long, long, long time of not uploading new content and videos and tutorials. And now I am here ready to share information and knowledges and skills or hacks that you are you will going to use on your tip teaching life, no? And now, uh, nabalitaan natin, no, kamakailan lang, no? Na na mayroong nalabas na memorandum ang Department of Education regarding on the utilization of the DepEd 365 or the Microsoft 365. Ito nga ay nagngangalan ng Microsoft 365 adoption na kung saan i-utilize na natin ang paggamit ng Microsoft 365 applications no and the uh, uh, resources and software. So now, um... Uh, dahil dito, yung ating dep at Gmail naman or Google, pati yung mga files natin sa drive ay maaapektuhan kasi nga, um, I think ito ay mawawala na yung yung service na pinoprovide sa atin nila before no like uh, unlimited storages for the Google Drive and the reason why I, I created this content is for us no uh, to transfer our file from Google Drive to our OneDrive which is part of the Microsoft 365 no para mapadali natin yung paglipat natin ng mga files lalo na yung mga importanteng files natin na nasa Google Drive natin at ma-save natin siya kasi I think nakalagay sa memo no if I am not mistaken until February 1 no ayan no again ito pa nga pala yung memorandum no OUA dash OUT dash 0-1-1-0-2-3 dash 0 one zero okay so memorandum last January 12 2023 okay and it will take effect on February 1 2023 so we will utilize now the use of Microsoft 365 from Outlook Word Excel PowerPoint OneNote Teams, OneDrive SharePoint, Microsoft Forms, and Microsoft Planner. Okay? So, yan. So, sisimulan na natin. Pero bago ang lahat, intro, pasok. Okay. So, first step that we're going to do, no, with the use of application mover, just type HTTPS colon double slash or just type mover.microsoft.com. Yan. And click enter. Yan. Mapupunta kayo sa sa site na ito. Ayan. Yung mover application. So, makikita nyo dito sa lower part, no? So, we can migrate, no, our files. Okay. So, with the use of this, matatransfer natin yung file natin from Drive to our Google Drive to OneDrive. So, first, once na makapunta kayo dito sa site na to, just click Go to our solution for individuals and students. Okay? Kasi hindi naman tayo sa school, no? We have our account as individual. Ayan. And then, after that, ma-open tong window na to. And click lang natin ang go to wizard transfer or go to transfer wizard. Sorry. Ayan. So, maglo-loading siya. Ayan. And then, i-require niya tayo to sign in our Microsoft account. Okay? So, yun yung binigay ng deped. So, we, we will just sign in here. Ayan. So, if you, uh, if you can see, I already have the... Uh, account signed uh, signed in here so pipili na lang ako ng account ko no so i just going to click my account here this one may may 365 account ayan then i just click accept no to 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 give permission to the mover application ayan hintayin lang natin siyang mag-load to Ayan na. So, lalabas na itong window na ito. Wait lang. Lobat ang aking laptop. Meron kayong makikita dyan. Step 1, step 2. So, first is select the source. So, you have to uh, connect your Google Drive here 
para makita natin yung mga files na meron tayo. And then sa step 2 naman is we are going to connect our um, Microsoft 365 account. Ayan. So let's start with the step 1. Ayan. Authorize. Ayan. Pipili tayo rito ngayon. So i-click natin is Google Drive Single User. Ayan. Click Authorize. Ayan. So ito yung atin, no? And just click Authorize. Yan, authorizing na. And then, um, lalabas rito, you have to sign in. So, this one is not is my personal account at hindi yun yung DepEd ko. So, I will going to click use another account and I will type my DepEd Gmail. Sorry. Ang ingin ni Tiny. Yan. Then, just click next. And then, lalabas yung enter your password. I-type lang natin yung ating password dyan for us to log in. And just click next or enter. Ayan. So, makikita nyo dyan. Mover wants to access your Google account. So, you are asking no to give permission or to allow Mover to, to access your drive. So, just click allow. Ayan. So, na-access na natin siya. Wait lang po si Tiny. You can see. Ayan. As you can see, nakita natin, nandiyan dyan yung aking mga folders and files, etc. So, mamaya, pipili lang ako ng isa dito. Okay? Uh, may yung medyo ano lang, tawag dito yung uh, maliit na file lang para mabilis natin matransfer. Para mapakita ko sa inyo for the sake of demonstration only. Okay? And then after that, click lang natin yung step 2. Ayan. Click natin yung authorize new connector. Ayan. Pipili ka dyan. So, syempre, ang pipili natin dyan yung OneDrive for Business Single User kasi ito yung binigay sa atin na package ni DepEd. So, click lang natin. Authorize. Kasi pag trinay nyo yan, hindi gagana. So, ito talaga ang gagana. Ayan. So, Tulad lang ng ginawa natin kanina sa Google Drive, i-authorize lang natin siya to access our OneDrive ni Mover. Ayan. So, isa-sign in uli natin. Yung DepEd, uh, yung uh, Microsoft 365 account naman natin, ha? Not the Gmail one. Or Google. And then, uh, you just enter your password. I already have here my password. And I just click sign in. Ayan. So, makikita mo rito na nag ask ulit, no? Si kay, kay from Microsoft naman to give permission to move her up. Okay? So, syempre, i-allow natin siya and we will click accept. Okay. So, wait lang natin siya mag-load. Ayan. So, loading na siya. Ayan. So, makikita rin na rin natin dito yung mga files na meron tayo sa ating OneDrive business. Kasi ako, ginagamit ko na kasi siya even before, no? Um, pero kung kayo ay sariwa, sariwa pa talaga. Kung sariwa pa or hindi nyo pa talaga nalalagyan ng, ng files yan, makikita nyo lang dyan yung ito lang, create folder lang and then the rest wala nang laman yan. Kasi akin kasi, yung OneDrive ko is nakamerge na or rather nakasynchronize sa aking laptop, sa aking tablet, sa aking cellphone, tsaka sa isang laptop sa school. So, kaya lahat ng sinisave kong file, nagsisynchronize na siya. Kaya anytime, anywhere, kaya ko siyang ma-access for as long as meron akong internet connection. So, nagagamit ko rin siya sa klase ko, lalo na yung presentation ko sa PowerPoint. So, since meron na kaming laptop na bigay ng city government ng Valenzuela, um, hindi ko na dinadala yung personal laptop ko. So, dito ako nag-edit, dito ako gumagawa, and then um, uh, ina-update ko na lang or sinisynchronize ko na lang yung, yung laptop ko sa school para hindi ko na siya i-save uh, sa USB tapos ito transfer ko pa dun sa laptop sa school or bibit-bitin ko pa tong laptop ko sa school. No? So, ganun siya ka-handy ka na no? mas madali. Or sa tablet or sa cellphone, lalo na kapag mag screen mirror ka, madaling mo na siyang ma-access for as long as you have an internet connection. So, na-update na siya. So, huwag kakalimutang isynchronize kasi meron dong sa ibang tutorial naman natin gawin yan yung kung paano mo isi-synchronize yung mga files na meron ka sa isang device to other devices with your OneDrive.
Okay, application. Okay. So, going back, napalayo tayo, no? <laughs> Ayan. So, eto na. Pipili na tayo ngayon dito ng mga file na gusto nating i-transfer. So, hanap lang tayo dito ng maliit na content. Hindi ko alam kung alin dito yung maliit na content. <laughs> ah, ito na lang. Kunyari, itong... So, iyan Halimbawa, iyan iba button files. And, i-click ko lang yung start copy. Okay? Pag klinik ko yung start copy, makikita nyo tong window na to. Na kung saan, dito nakalagay yung na-transfer, running, complete, different issues or failures. Okay? Makikita nyo dyan kung, at kung gaano ka, ka kabigat yung files. Ayan. So, nakalagay dyan, no? Running to, oh. Status nyo, running. Ito ay from Google Drive, which is Ibatan Files na folder. At itatransfer siya sa OneDrive file. So, makikita nyo rito yung status, no? Or remarks. Okay? Ayan na siya. Ayan, complete. So, ibig sabihin... Um, na transfer na lahat ng files. So so doon sa folder na yun na Ivatan files, I have 17 files na completed na na transfer sa ating OneDrive which is uh 15503 MB ang bigat. Okay? So dito rin nakalagay yung remarks no, successful transfer 17 files. Walang tayong failed, wala tayong na-skip na files. And then, successful data or data successful na na-transfer, ayan yung bigat ng file. So, ganun lang siya kadali. As you can see, nag-update siya, no? Ayan, hindi pa pala siya tapos. Sakala ko tapos na, no? Uh, it's still running. Okay? So, 125 files complete and wala naman siyang issue. Tuloy-tuloy siya. So, yun lang siya hanggang sa matapos. And then, automatically, sumasabay si Tiny. Wait. Ingi-ingi naman ni. Eh. Oh. Uh, once again, automatically, um, malilipat po siya sa ating destination path, which is our OneDrive. No? So, yun lang siya. So, syempre, mas mabilis kung konti lang yung file at mabliit lang yung, uh, yung size ng file natin. Pero, like for example nga, marami tayong file doon, so, it will take time talaga. No? So, tsaga lang tayo. And we will transfer, or matatransfer, excuse me, matatransfer naman din natin siya ng lahat at buo. Okay? Once again, hopefully, mga kamams, mga kapaps, nakatulong itong video content na to sa pagtatransfer ng ating mga files. Kasi nga, hello, February 1 na po, magsisimula at sana matransfer natin lahat ng file natin from Google Drive to our one drive. So, hindi na natin alam. Hintayin na lang natin update ni DepEd kung ano ang mangyayari sa ating Gmail accounts. Bye-bye, everyone! Babay ka na! Bye-bye! Bye-bye! Bye-bye po! Bye-bye po! Bye-bye po! Ang ingay niya po!